If you know anything about me, and uh, I think you do, <laughs> you know that I love mentholated items. But second only to that is cherry scented items and cherry flavored items. I wish I should live in Door County, Wisconsin. If you know about Door County, you know what I'm talking about. So you know that one of my favorite aftershaves is Captain's Choice 45th Parallel. It's dark, cherry scented, and I'm almost out of it. I need to buy some more. Oh, gotta get my fix, gotta get my cherry fix. So when Dana emailed me, friend of the channel Dana for a long time, he said, hey, there's this new stuff that sounds like it's right up your alley. Try it out. And I was like, all right, you know, I'm going to. Because I think I think he mentioned it before somebody did. So I bought it. Oof. You know the, what do they say? The road to hell is paved with good intentions. The road to somewhere else is paved with high expectations. And that road took me down a dead end, unfortunately. Oof. But I did something about it. Let's talk about that in a minute. Let's shave. Uh, I'm going to lather up today with some more homemade stuff that was sent to me by, uh, uh, what's, oh God, what's his, what's his screen name? Gosh, hold on a second. I need to find his screen name. Hold on. Okay. It was Carson Damascus Taco. He's a 14 year old who's making stuff and he made some pine tar scented soap. So I'm going to try that out today because he wants to start selling this stuff online and people say, don't you get scared having people send stuff that you just put on your face? It's like, oh well, yeah, I mean, I'm very cautious and I can kind of tell by talking to someone that uh, they're not, you know, weird, totally weird, maybe a little weird like me. That's okay. But you know, somebody I shouldn't have to worry about. And I think this young man is on the up and up. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But that's, you know, sometimes you gamble in life. So I'm, I shaved with this first one and it was great. So I'm shaving with this one. Pine tar. Ooh, I love pine scent too. That's something else. Pine. Love cherry, menthol, peppermint, pine, wood smoke. Beautiful. All right, I took a shower, did my hair. I'm going to put some hot water on my face. And I'm going to lather up with the old pine tar and, oh, here it is, <laughs> my Sinatra Lennon Signature Brush from DS Cosmetics. Now, I'm just going to lather this sucker up in the bowl provided. Thank you. It's got a built-in bowl. He made it in his own home. Ooh, it's got a subtle scent. Of pine and I think this one is a little bit slicker I can already kind of tell it is forming into some beautiful peaks as well so whatever you're doing Carson you're doing a good job Damascus taco check him out look at this this is some soupy good ooh yeah it's a mild scent I would like a little bit more of a kick so kind of like with the last one the uh, I can't remember the musk uh, I would I would say put just a little for this one, just a little bit more. Gosh, it's just getting everywhere. A little bit more of that scent, of that pine scent or whatever scents you're using in there. That's my advice for this, but otherwise, it's lathering. God, it's lathering too much. It's getting all over my chest and I have to shave my chest hair. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna wipe it off. <laughs> Wiping it down, wipe her down. It is lathering beautifully. So good job again, Carson. And I got one more to try of his later on, but I wanna talk about this. This aftershave. Now I know you can fast forward and stuff, so you can't really, you know, hold the suspense too long. Uh, I do, I am going to shave with the Black Beauty, the 1970. This is my birth razor. It was made in the same, just about the same month that I was born in 1970. It's beautiful. It was sent to me a few years ago. It's in perfect shape. It's adjustable. I got it on a six today and I got a brand new feather blade in it. So let's go ahead Ooh, so smooth, so smooth. I think, yeah, that feels a lot slicker too. I can tell already. <laughs> Sorry, I had something on my screen there. <laughs> so this aftershave, all right, let's talk about it. Let's, I'll show you. So I don't wanna uh, disparage uh, the company that makes it because it's just not for me. Now, Dana says he loves it. So like I said, everything when it comes to like scents, and preferences and products that you use and consume, it's all subjective. It comes down to the person's opinion and taste. And this thing sounds great, but man, I was so disappointed when I got it open because I got it open and I tried it out. I've tried it out three or four times since I got it because I wanted, wanted to make sure. I didn't just want to have a gut reaction and you know dismiss it. I want to be professional. I want to be adult about these things. So even after three or four applications, I still can't stand the stuff. It, well, here it is. It's Master Splash Creations 
Cherry Freeze, and it's handcrafted in South Africa, so I'm sure it's made with good stuff. Um, it's got uh, witch hazel in it and rose water, essential oils, you know, all the kind of stuff that you get. So a uh, small batch artisanal Cherry Freeze, right? I mean, that sounds like, that's me. That's two of my favorite things in one, and it's a great aftershave, right? Right? So that's what I was looking forward to. Dana loves his, and I'm sure a lot of other people enjoy it, but I just cannot stand the smell of it. To me, it smells like that terrible orange children's aspirin, like St. Joseph's or Bayer's children's aspirin, or it smells like a really bad approximation of cherry children's medicine. Now, how do I know about cherry children's medicine? Well, I was a child once and I took it and you know, when they try to make something grape flavored or orange or cherry, it always turns out a little funky, especially medicine. And that's what this smells like to me. Terrible children's medicine. And the, the, the one good thing I will say about it, since it's cherry freeze, it doesn't have a lot of menthol in it. So that's good. <laughs> See, yeah, I don't want to just t totally, you know, just dump all over it. I want to just give you my opinion, even though it is kind of a strong opinion this time. It's not, in this case, it's not, uh, my opinion isn't like, well, it's kind of, kind of, I'm like, no, I will never use this. I can't, I can't stand this stuff. But that's just me. That's just me. If you like it, great. And if I, if you want this one, you can have it. <laughs> I don't know who you are and it would have to involve me not mailing it, but just giving it to you, okay? So it's up for grabs, whoever wants it. There's the first, pass and we'll continue talking about this and we'll talk about what I did to replace this. Oh, what did I do? Hey man, that is a great razor and there is some residual slickness. I'd like a little bit more. Carson, doing pretty well. I mean, my goodness. Were you guys making shaving soaps in various different scents and flavors when you were 14 years old? I guarantee you weren't. So kudos to you, Carson. That's a good one. I like that pine tar one. And there's one more after that, so. Maybe you should go for the teenage market. Sell Takis scented <laughs> shaving soap. You know what Takis are? You know, those little, uh, those rolled spicy tortilla chip, uh, you know, little snack chips. They're huge here in Texas. I'm sure other parts of the country too. And I'm not sure how that far they extend around the world. T-A-K-I, Takis. And they're always spicy and they're blue ones and red ones. And my kids love it. So, I don't know, Taki's scented shaving soap. Just putting it out there into the universe to let it flop down. Okay, so. What was I talking about? The cherry freeze. Yes, dang it, I was so disappointed. So, Dana, nothing against you. I don't regret a second. I'm glad I tried it. And I'm still hoping out, holding out hope that uh, Captain's Choice, if you're listening... We'll make a limited edition holiday special run of Sinatra Lennon, 45th parallel, mentholated, I don't know, call it Cherry Bomb or something. How about that? I don't know. There's probably shaving soap out there already called Cherry Bomb, so don't use that if it's already copyrighted. But uh, I don't know, just uh, food for thought. Or, or, maybe I could make that myself. Maybe I could make some cherry mentholated aftershave. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying I'm going to, but what if I did? What if I did? What if, what if I did? Then I could get it the way I want it. It would smell like 45th parallel. It would feel like cherry freeze mentholated. And it would just be the most refreshing, delicious scent you ever did smell. Don't drink aftershave, folks. That leads to those prevention shows, you know. Drinking mouthwash out in the parking lot at, 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 during your lunch break is not a good, not a good idea. Man, this, um, I, I, I apologize for not remembering who sent me this because it's been a few years ago, but he said he bought it in 1970. I believe I'm only the second owner of this thing and he either didn't use it or he just took very good care of it. So thanks again, I really appreciate it. People are always, it's one of those funny things about the wet shaving community, you know. Everybody wants to have their birth razor. You know, it's just kind of a novelty. I can see that. I'm totally into that kind of stuff. Totally. So I really appreciate it. I think it's cool. Me and you, Black Beauty, we're the same age. You're looking a lot better than I am. 
Although I'm not too, too bad. I'm trying, folks. I'm trying. It gets harder. Look at this hair. I don't know. This, this shape is really bugging me. I don't like it. I might have to just redo it at the end of this video and I need a haircut. Once it starts doing all this swoopy thing, that's what I'm fighting against. All right, third pass. And then I'll talk about, oh yeah, I wanted to remind you all, when you are testing out a new scent, whether that's a cologne, perfume, aftershave, whatever, put it on before you take a shower. Put it on like you would normally. That way, if you hate it, you're just gonna wash it off. And if you love it, then you know you can put it on afterwards. That's my advice. And that's what I did with this cherry freeze for three or four times. I would put it on. I would live with it. For, well, the first day, I just put it on as soon as I got it. And I was like, oh, God. And I kept smelling it. And it's just that terrible children's aspirin cherry fake smell. Okay. I said I, I, want, I don't want to dump on it. This, these are just my opinions. One man's opinions. They don't amount to a hill of beans. This big, crazy world. So take it with a grain of salt, please. I am not the end-all, be-all, or the arbiter of truth when it comes to scents and aftershaves. No, I'm not. Believe me. So what I did was, what did I do? What did I do? I said, well, I don't have a lot of this left. I need to buy some more. It's like, you can't even tell, but there's like this much at the bottom. So what I thought was, what if I make my own just ad hoc approximation of a cherry-ish scented mentholated aftershave just for this shape. Now, this won't be my first rodeo, folks. You, if, you know that I made that, you know, I used the Osage rub, and a couple of years ago I made Osage hammer just by taking Osage rub and adding this stuff to it, these frost drops from sterling soap. It's just pure menthol. In fact, this thing's so potent, this used to have a plastic uh, applicator top on it that just dissolved and fell off. This is the cap that was holding it on. It's now just that. And uh, I kind of like that. Um, and so it crystallized, and now it's gone back to a, like a syrupy goop. So it's, it's in like its fourth like, like phase of life. I don't know what's going on with this. But anyway, I'm going to throw this away after this because it's so goopy and weird now. I don't trust it. It used to be just liquid cold. I, anyway, I added that to Osage Rub. I called it Osage Hammer. I kept it in a special jar, which I still have down there, and I forgot to get it out, but I still have it. So I decided to do a cherry approximation of something like that. Cherry bomb. Copyright 2022, Sinatra Lennon. <laughs> Is that legal? Does that work? Can you just say I copyrighted it? I don't know. I think that's temporary. I think I learned that a long time ago. If you just write something down and say, this is a copyright on this date. Anyway. So what I did was I took a little bottle and there it is. It's just clear. It's just clear. Cause oh, you can see little, some little particulates in there and that those aren't sea monkeys folks. I'll tell you what that is in a minute. So I dumped as much as I felt like using, which wasn't much, just a few little shakes of that. And I don't have any other like Cherry, full on, just straight up cherry uh, aftershave. Unless you count this. So what I did was I grabbed the Captain's Choice Italia, which is similar. It's like amaretto almond with a little hint of cherry. So this is mostly what's in this is the Italia. So I got. Oh my goodness! Don't worry, not broken. <laughs> Scared me. Even. Apologize for that. Um, so I added the Italia. Added the forty foot parallel. Wish I had more of that because it needs a little bit more. And then I needed, well, something for the menthol. Since this stuff was goopy, I didn't want to use it. So I didn't. But what I did do is I added just a little bit of cold fusion from wet the face. But this has a scent to it. So I knew it would affect the scent of the Italia in the 45th. So I just put a drop of that because it is so potent, folks. It'll make you go through all your life phases in one morning if you try that out. So I did that, I added that, and then I thought, well, I'll add a little bit of this terror too, which is a different kind of tingly menthol -y stuff. It's, it's not menthol. I can't remember what it is, dang it. Somebody told me and I keep forgetting. I'm terrible about that. Uh, I'm not gonna try to figure it out. So this is what I did. Cold Fusion, Terror, 45th Parallel, and Italia. And this is it right here in a little tiny spray bottle. All right, let's see here. Ooh, I can smell it when I picked it up. Oh, I already like it. 
I already like it. I did spray it to see if it was okay. And it's it's not great, but it's okay. All right, let me uh, wash off, hit the problem areas, and then we'll try out the aftershave spray. I'm not gonna, you know, you can, if you want to, spray it directly in your face, but I don't know. I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna spray it under my hands and then apply it as I normally would. Man, what a razor. I forget how good this razor is because I don't use it very often. I just like looking at it. It's here in the... So I'm going to take this out and I'll clean it up and put it back in there. Feather blade laid across the handle of two other dry razors and then I'll wash this off in a minute. Okay, cold water on the face. I can still feel the menthol tingle from trying the, the cherry freeze before I took my shower. So that's pleasant. And heck, maybe you'll... I mean, it's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like that Arco stuff, right? I absolutely despise the scent of that, but some people swear by it and love it. So that's the world we live in, folks. Everybody's got their own taste and opinions, as if I had to tell you that, right? I mean, that's it's in your face every day, whether you want it or not. Okay, so let's try the cherry bomb. This is, this is just a prototype. Smells mostly like the Italia because that's mostly what I used, but it's slightly cherry scented. You remember the old uh, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, the spray, delay, walk away, you know that thing where you walk through? Ooh, that smells good. Here's what I'm gonna do. Just do it on my hands. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, there's potential here, folks. If that was like just the straight up 45th parallel, with maybe a hint of the Italia on the end to give it some 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 anchor in the ground, that that nutty almond, and then just a hint. well, not just a hint of menthol. I put uh, you know a few drops of two different kinds of menthol. So I don't know. I feel kind of like a like a mad scientist here. <laughs> Come with me to the laboratory. I will show you my cherry menthol. All right. You know when I start doing that, it's time to go. So anyway, Marcus, good job on this stuff, on the pine and on the first one. I think the slickness could come up a little bit. I think the scent could be notched up a little bit. Otherwise, it lathered beautifully, and I got a ton of it. And uh, yeah, good job. Keep it up. I got another one of those coming up soon. Thanks to the gentleman that sent this to me, the Black Beauty. I will be cleaning him up and drying him off beautifully. And uh, yeah, clean up as you go. And uh, that's it. I got a bunch of stuff in the mail the other day, as I said in the last video. I got uh, this brand new razor that's gonna be part of a Kickstarter campaign that they want me to try out. Uh, they sent me the prototype a few months ago, but they've got the production now. And it doesn't come out till October, so I'll do that soon. And then I got those two shavettes that I have to try out, which I'm very nervous about. But somebody gave me a really good tip, and I'll tell you that later when it comes to shavettes. And, you know, some other stuff too, I don't know. We'll see. Oh yeah, the one blade with that attachment thing. It's all coming up, but I gotta spread it out and I gotta be in the right mood to do it. <laughs> I can't force my own creativity. This is why I got so frustrated being a graphic designer because when people would force me to be creative, oh, terrible, so terrible. Oh, this must be so hard. You know what I mean? All right, everybody, have a great weekend. Thanks again, Dana, for the heads up. I can't recommend this for myself. Uh, if you want it, come and get it. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm glad I tried it. That's, that's, you never know. You never know. And I can't return it. You know, I think it was like 15 bucks, something like that. 20 total with shipping. So it, it hurt a little bit, but not too much. And I'm glad I tried it. So thanks, Dana. <laughs> Nothing against you. Thanks. All right, everyone. Have a great weekend. See you soon. Bye.